you are a handsome man. <laughs> Ironically so. <laughs> in fact, when we shot in Sorrento, Italy, the moment someone recognized you in the street, and Trina Durham can attest to that they did it all the time, the entire town literally came to, came to a standstill. We actually had to bring in loads of extra police to get the town moved along again. <laughs> Being a handsome man, you were cast for the handsome parts. You became a household name with Remington Steele and, of course, with James Bond. But you know that fame is just a game and that looks are worth nothing if you don't commit to your craft and your art, which you do with extreme passion and borderless insightfulness. Your dedication to cinema is shown not only in the many films you've acted in working with countless great directors, but also in the 11 films that you've produced including The Thomas Crown Affair, The Greatest, and November Man. And like you say, nothing comes from nothing. Your entire career, every film you made, be it a drama, a comedy, a thriller, a musical, would be, not, would be nothing were not for the courage, hard work, and enormous generosity that defines you as a human being. Your willingness, your willingness to use your own sometimes difficult personal experiences to enhance the depth and power of every character that you play is both courageous and enormously dignified. I am so very, very proud to have worked with you but even prouder to call you my friend. Hey boy, I'm very generous. You're finding my way around. Mr. President, this is a great day. Listen to me. This is about us. I don't want to talk.
Brosnan. Piers Brosnan. Ladies and gentlemen, the European achievement in world cinema goes to Piers Brosnan. There he is. In Yat Maldram and Christopher Fettis worked at Repertory Theatre up and down the countryside of England, BBC costume dramas, and that great moment of working with Mr. Tennessee Williams, and I still have his telegram from the opening night at the Roundhouse in London, and it said, Thank God for you, my dear boy, I love Tennessee Williams. But I have always dreamt of movies, I have always dreamt of being in movies, um, and on a wing and a prayer, I went to America back there in 82 and I got lucky with Remington Steele and then of course it opened the door in many ways I got my foot in the door and I stayed um, but I was always dreaming of making movies um, after the show was cancelled they gave me bond came into my life went out of my life I eventually did it and you know I've always just um, worked as an actor, um, find work, never give up, uh, work begets work, acting is about doing. These were the mantras of my, my heart and life and they still are um, and I've been working ever since. I want to um, share this also with a dear friend of mine who passed away, Beau Marie St. Clair. Um, Beau Marie St. Clair passed away January 9th of this year. She and I, after the success of uh, Golden I formed a company, Irish Dreamtime, to make movies. And um, she would have adored this night. She was a remarkable woman and a really great producer. 
uh, for me and a dear friend of 30 years. Um, there is also a lady that has stood by my shoulder and my heart for 22 years, and that's my wife, Keely. And I share this with you. I could not do the job that I do without your love and give me the strength and the courage to go out there. I love you dearly. So, um, faith, hope, courage, solidarity, truth, in these turbulent times that we find ourselves in, there is always turbulence in the life of mankind on this earth, but I think now, more than ever, we need to come together as, um, as artists, as filmmakers, to really try and make sense of what is happening in our countries and our nations. And we have that gift, we, the, we've been given that gift um, to do that. So, to all you young men and women out there, uh, who I met last night, the nominees, keep good strength, keep good faith, whatever the politics of your nation is, be truthful to yourself, be bold, and uh, go forth, make movies of the heart. Thank you so much.